Hey everybody, Travis here at MugCreek.com. I want to do a quick review of, this is one of the Mountain House side dishes or vegetables. Uh, it's golden sweet whole kernel corn. So it's freeze dried. You know, this is going to taste, if it's anything like the, the beans we did not too long ago, you know, it's probably going to taste very similar to something like a, you know, probably like a frozen, um, frozen bag of corn. I don't think it's going to taste as much like the actual canned corn. This is my first experience with this, so I'm going to give it a whirl and hopefully it tastes pretty good. Um, these are super light. That's something that's kind of nice about them. They're only uh, 1.48 ounces. And so, you know, do the math, that's pretty, uh, pretty lightweight and easy to carry. It's not going to take up a lot of space either. These are a little smaller than the normal bags. So this is about 7 inches by 8.5 by in reality you know about an inch right there so you know they're not gonna take up a lot of space let me throw up just a regular mountain house pouch here so this is the normal uh entree dish right here you can kind of see the size difference so they're a little bit smaller and obviously not as as wide so it's gonna make it a little easier to carry let's take a look at the nutritional facts here you know ingredients this is the funniest thing this is the easiest ingredients i've ever read whole kernel corn so, uh, you know, that's kind of the cool thing about this. There's nothing crazy in it. There's no uh, preservatives or anything like that, which is awesome. So, calories, you know, there's two servings in here. Uh, calories are 90 calories each. So, you know, this is probably, in reality, I think you could get two servings out of this if you combined it with a, a meal. Um, you know, if you're just going to eat this as a snack, you might eat the whole pouch. But if you're going to share with somebody and you both made a, an entree meal, for example, and you want to split this half it with them, you could. So, it's 180 calories total. You know, if you if you split it obviously and just do the the one serving each, it's 90 calories. So total from fat, uh, total fats 1.5 gram. Calories from fats 10. Um, so it's hardly anything in that sense. Carbohydrates 16 grams, uh, proteins 3 grams. If you want to read that a little bit more in detail, feel free to pause it here. Or go to our website at, site at mudcreek.com and check it out. So uh, preparation here is going to be pretty easy. It's going to be like the others. All we're going to do is open the package and remove the oxygen absorber. And we're going to add a cup of boiling water to the pouch and then we're going to let it stand for four to five minutes. So uh, and then we'll open it up and we'll drain any excess water from there and then we can eat it right out of the pouch. So we'll probably combine this with another meal and, and just, uh, you know, see how it tastes. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you what it looks like on the inside here. So, you know, you got the zip lock here, which is nice. And then, uh, uh, you know, there's your oxygen absorber. So here's a, I mean, you can in reality probably, you know, you can just eat that pine. It actually has a sweet little flavor to it. If you want to just eat it as like a snack and you didn't want to add water, you know, it's actually pretty good. So manufacture date on this. So, you know, this is a cool thing. They don't put an expiration date. They just put a manufacture date. It's really clear to read now. May 13th, 2013, for example, is when this one was made. And so that'll last, uh, that used to be seven years. Now they say 10 years and they, they actually say, yeah, I think it's guaranteed for 10 years and essentially it'll last up to 15 years. And they've even said that they've had some that have lasted over 30 years and, and they've tasted them and they've still been fine. The biggest thing you'll lose is maybe a little potency probably in the nutritional side. And then obviously in the flavor it may not be as, uh, is, you know, as strong. It might be a little blander than normal. So I don't think it's a big deal though. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to throw down the cloth here and we'll put the, uh, the pot on here. So we're just going to add... He said, said a cup of water. In reality, I think we could probably do a little less if we wanted to. But uh, um, so eight ounces is what we're going to do, which is a cup. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get this boiling. And then I'll probably come back in just a second and, uh, you know, let you see it in action. So throw the lid on. So we'll be back in a few minutes and then we'll dump that in there and you can see what, uh, see what we've got. Okay, so it looks like our water is boiling, so we're going to go ahead and shut this off, and then we'll add this to our corn, and we will uh, let it sit for four to five minutes, and go ahead and take a look at it. So, uh, you know, just be careful doing this. Obviously, you know, just remember everything's still hot, so you don't want to touch any of the hot parts of your stove or the pot here. So we're just going to open that up real good, and then dump it in. Just watch your fingers. Now that's the cool thing about Mountain House, they're super easy to prepare. You can take a spoon, just stir that up a little bit to make sure everything's coated in water. That'll help everything, you know, hydrate a little bit better. And, uh, you know, tends to taste just a little bit better, but, I mean, you can eat it however you like, honestly. So, 
All right, we'll let that sit uh, for four to five minutes and then we'll be back and we'll show you what we've got. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little closer. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little closer shot here. I just want you to be able to see the bowl. So here's our pouch of corn uh, right here. We've let sit for about four to five minutes. You can drain off that excess water here if you like. You know, just dump it in like a, let me show you here what it looks like on the inside real quick. You can just dump it into you know, another bowl or something like that. Um, I'm just gonna dump it all in the bowl here for now. I'm not too worried about that extra moisture. You know, probably be, it look a lot like maybe canned corn in that sense, you know. But uh, I like I said, I have a hunch it's gonna taste more like a frozen corn, which I tend to like a little bit better than canned corn. I just, I'm not a huge fan of canned corn. It just tastes mushy and kind of gross to me. Just like something a little more crisp. So that is just me. So get all that corn out of there. We'll go ahead and give this a try. You know, just smell it right out of the right out of the bag. It just definitely has kind of a sweet smell to it. So, and like I said, you can drain this extra water, but uh, you know, looks like corn. So let's give it a try here. Yeah, it's kind of a cross between like a canned corn and a, a frozen corn. It definitely tastes more frozen to me. It tastes fresher to me. Um, I like it. I think it tastes good. I think this would be a great little. Uh, you know side dish to one of the regular mountain house uh, meals up on the hill You know if I was up there you'd easily split this with somebody else and and both enjoy it. So You know when they say sweet corn, I think you know, they definitely got that right It's definitely got a sweeter flavor to it, which I like I just like the sweet corn personally So I don't think you'd be let down in that sense. So I like it I think this will go really well with any of the mountain house meals. So for example You know, I got some uh a bowl of uh, chicken and rice here, and then I got a bowl of uh, corn here. You know, if I wanted, I could eat that all myself. I'd probably split that with somebody else, though. But um, you know, this is one of the mountain house meals I I did a review on just a little bit ago. So um, you know, it, it's a great little side dish and add on to that just to give you a, give you that vegetable and give you a little extra sustenance and you know vitamins and nutri uh, nutrition up on the on the hill. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is the uh, freeze-dried sweet uh, kernel corn by Mountain House. So uh, come check us out at mudcreek.com. And uh, we you know, do more content and things like that on our website. And we also sell these things there. So if you'd like to get them, uh, we'll probably do some kind of discount for those who come from YouTube. So appreciate your business and thanks for checking us out.